Okay, so thank you so much for the for the introduction and, and welcome to um, prospective students on this program and it's good to see also many friends and colleagues from Chula in this uh, virtual meeting. I'm going to talk briefly about this um, joint award PhD between Liverpool and Chula and uh, I'll explain what it is we're going to do in this um, in this program and what the advantages to you as a student are if you take part in this program. So it's between the, um, as has been mentioned, Chulalongkorn University in Thailand, the, the top university in Thailand and Liverpool. And it's a joint venture that we started a few years ago to try to bring together colleagues, friends and, and researchers across both universities to give a, an exciting training program for students where we can then who can benefit from what we have on offer in the two universities. And so what I'm going to do in this little presentation is talk a bit about the joint award program, what the advantages to you as students are, uh, and, and also the advantages to staff who are involved in the program. Introduction to the University of Liverpool that you may be unfamiliar with, talk a little about the health and life sciences faculty, and a little bit about the city of Liverpool. So uh, we started this program and this partnership a few years ago, and it's, it started with myself and Professor Natia um, over 10 years ago now, where we thought there were lots of opportunities for staff and students to bring together and combine the research strengths and expertise of our two universities. Because it was obvious that we had many, many common interests in research and education, but also importantly, many complementary strengths. And it's the complementary strengths that we're trying to bring together in this program to give you, the students, maximum opportunities to experience a wide range of expertise and facilities that may not be possible by you working in a single university. And that's a very, very important thing for you to bear in mind. The first student registered with us in 2012, um, uh, Susama. And um, she was actually a medical doctor before she did the PhD. So now she's Dr. Dr. Susama. Um, and what I want to try to get across to you is that there are strengths and benefits for working on this program that are very immediate in terms of your training, but also some very long lasting benefits for you working across the two institutions, across the two countries, and making a wide variety of friends and colleagues and, and uh, peers who you will then develop lifelong networks of collaboration with. So please don't think of this as, as a PhD as an endpoint. It's a starting point for you on your journey in research and the benefits of working across different countries are fantastic because they give you, as I say, these long lasting international networks of communities of friends and colleagues. Uh, another uh, example of that is, is Cheng, who graduated with us a few years ago. and. Again, what he's emphasizing here in his, his little um, statement is the multiculturalism and, and the fact that you can work across different areas, working, sharing expertise in Chula, sharing expertise in, in Liverpool, and then developing a very, very broad uh, research community of activities that will live with you for the rest of your research careers. Cheng is actually working now in uh, the University of Leeds, doing some very, very important work on the genomics of COVID, um, tracking the uh, infection and tracking the appearance of new mut mutations. So the program is, is designed in such a way that you will spend time at both institutions. You will um, spend anything between six and 12 months normally at each institution, how and when, and what time you spend on that project in, in Liverpool will depend on the way in which the project develops, on the way in which your supervisors see the project advantages. Sometimes students come early to learn some methodologies. Sometimes they come later to actually do some experiments or to help with the write-up of their thesis, uh, but it's very flexible. Importantly, you will have supervisors or advisors at both institutions from day one, who will work together to design a project that maximizes the potential benefits of staff and expertise at both universities. And you're registered as full-time students at both universities, 
from day one of registration. And that's important because you will then have access to all of the facilities, the library facilities, the online workshops, the online training resources um, at both universities. And they can help you not only with your research development, uh, but also with developing other skills like communication skills, help with English language, um, help with finding jobs, etc. We'll have monthly meetings with UOL supervisors, either by email or online. And we try to match wherever we can what you need to do at both universities to progress from year one to year two, to year two to year three together. And um, so that we can then, um, you don't have to repeat many of the um, activities to go from, pr progress from year one to year two, et cetera. At the end of it, you will get a, you will write a single thesis you will have a single viva or thesis defense, and that will either be in Thailand or the UK, depending on where you are at the time of that thesis defense. So the advantages to you as students on this program is that you will have access to a very, very wide range of expertise and facilities, both from your supervisors and from the research environment. And that range of expertise will be much greater than you will be able to get from working in a single institution. The other big advantage, of course, is that by studying in the UK and Thailand, you have great international experience. And with that comes international travel and also varied cultural experiences. And these are very, very important qualities in terms of your personal development, building your confidence, building your ability to show that you can work in different environments and a fantastic uh, thing to have on your CV when you're looking for jobs in the very competitive jobs market. And as I've tried to get across to you already, you will have opportunities for international networking, long-term collaborations that will stay with you beyond uh, the PhD qualification and further into your research careers, where the great network of contacts that you've made with staff and peers and other students will stay with you and help you in your career development beyond the PhD. So, so lots of advantages, both in terms of science, but also cultural and skills development and CV building. A little bit about Liverpool. I don't want to go through too many facts and figures, but we're a very established university in the UK, founded in 1881. About a quarter of our students are international students so it's a very, very international environment, um, very, very easy for students to, to, to fit in and set, settle down in Liverpool. We're a member of the Russell Group, which is the founder member of that group of initially the top 20 universities in the UK that had a very strong research focus. Uh, and we've been associated with uh, nine Nobel laureates um, over the past few years. So we're very we're kind of a mid-sized university, I guess, but a, a civic university in the heart of Liverpool. We spent a lot of money on our campus in recent years. Um, we have lots of undergraduate and postgraduate programmes, but all of our programmes are very, very linked to our research activities. We see research as a very important um, part of our, our portfolio of activities. And even our undergraduate students are taught to be researchers because we think this is important for them in, uh, in being able to be lifelong learners in the future. And we've spent around £250 million in the last few years on our accommodation um, for students. As I've mentioned, not only do we provide um, you know, great um, research opportunities for you, but we also help with um, employment um, after your PhD. Now you may go back to your home countries um, to, to develop careers, but we can also help with developing your communications, developing your, your um, English writing, helping with CV development, interview techniques, etc. And so we're very concerned also with ensuring that after the PhD, you get the right career path and we can help you as much as we can in finding that career path. In terms of our activities here, we have very, very, as I say, similar activities in terms of our research as, as Chula. Um, we have four institutes in our faculty. Most of our students spend time in the um, institutes of life course and medical sciences, infection, veterinary or systems and molecular biology. 
Um, they were our students of, of, on this program of traditional Ligon. But associated with these institutes, we have a number of areas of expertise. And you will see straight away, I think, that those areas of expertise in Liverpool and our centres of excellence link in very, very neatly and closely with the areas of expertise at Tula. We have a centre of excellence in infectious disease. We have a cancer research institute with our local hospital just across the road from our buildings. We also have many links with other hospitals in the region in terms of uh, women's hospitals, women's health, children's hospitals, etc. We have a centre of excellence in long acting therapeutics, a centre for cardiovascular sciences, as well a very new centre that we've just established. A micro, microbiome innovation centre where we're looking at how we can then analyse the microbiomes in health and diseases of lots of human and animal conditions and how they're affected by environment and, and disease and drugs. A centre of excellence in sustainable food systems and many, many excellent facilities for very detailed structural biology and post uh, omics uh, technologies. More recently, we have developed a very brand new institute called the Pandemic Institute, which is a, a group of institutions in Liverpool, different universities getting together with the School of Tropical Medicine and the city centre, together with um, um, pharmaceutical companies to form this Pandemic Institute, where we have a network of of institutes across the world. And we're hoping that Tula will join this pandemic institute very soon to monitor outbreaks of diseases and then obviously then to be ready and agile enough to prevent those new outbreaks of diseases becoming um, more complex and uh, overtaking our economies and overtaking our health systems. Um, so that new innovation obviously triggered by COVID and the University of Liverpool as did Tula in Thailand spend a lot of time and resources um, investigating the outbreak of COVID in terms of um, sequencing samples, developing vaccines, assaying uh, effectiveness of vaccines and getting ourselves prepared should something like this appear in the future. Actually, the University of Liverpool is very, very close to the city centre uh, and Liverpool is a very, very multicultural city it was a very very important port in the past and because of the port we've had a very multicultural um, development in our city lots of um, interests in um, the arts uh, food systems we have a very we have the oldest chinese community in europe uh, and so very very good chinese restaurants in, in our city as many other things and of course we have the best football team in the world uh, and I hope I don't have to persuade you that that's the case. So lots of advantages of, of, of this program. I'm sure you'll, you'll hear more about the Tula activities in a moment and when you have the Tula campus talk. Thank you for listening. Um, it, there'll be a question and answer session later. You'll have a chance to talk to our students uh, who have either previously been on the program or are currently on the program, some of which I see are currently in Liverpool. Uh, thank you for your time and um, please ask any questions that you may have um, at the end of the session. Thanks so much. I'll stop sharing my screen now.